Now, if I asked you which NBA player played and coached at the same time, a lot of you would jokingly say LeBron James. Now, as funny as this is, LeBron is not officially on the Lakers payroll as a coach. So as funny as all the LeCoach memes are, I'm talking about an active NBA player who during the season was offered the job of head coach, which he accepted. Now, a quick Google search will tell you that Bill Russell was named the first black head coach in NBA history in 1966. The weird thing with this is that in 1966, he was also averaging a double-double, played 81 games games on 40 minutes per game. Well, in 1966, legendary Boston Celtics coach Red Auerbach retired after nine championship seasons and 11 all-star appearances. As a coach, that has to be a record or something. I've never even heard of that before. So the Celtics then had three candidates for a new head coach and they all declined. One was, quote, making too much money running three nursing homes. Former Celtics player Frank Ramsey declined because he didn't want to coach his old teammates. He had only been retired for a couple years at this point. And the third option just straight up didn't think he would be up to the job coaching Bill Russell, who was known to be a little rowdy at times. So with no other candidates, the Celtics organization made a decision. Let's just ask Bill, which of course he accepted. His tenure as a player coach didn't get off to a championship start since they ended up losing to Wilt in the 76 sixes in the conference finals that year but of course bill only had nine rings at this point so we all know what happened next but what i didn't know was that the very next year still playing and coaching bill russell managed to get his revenge on wilt chamberlain and he did this by handing wilt and the sixers a fat l in game seven at home after philly led three to one in the series first time in nba history this happened by the way and after sending will home they went on to face jerry west in the los angeles lakers in the finals that year where he went on to win his 10th ring at this point the record for the nba coach with the most rings starts to come into question Oh yeah, the Celtics repeated after handing Wilt that L. Now obviously, Phil Jackson should be the number one on this list. I'm just saying, it's crazy to win nine championships, be named the head coach of the team you're playing for, and then coach that team and play to two more titles. But that's enough NBA legend for today. I'll see y'all next time.